Hello everyone and welcome back to Venture Africa where we have just unlocked the baboon. We played through that first level and we're going to jump in with the next one. So I imagine we'll have more to do with baboons here and we're going to see what this one is. I really don't know. It might be a new location, I'm not sure, but uh, we will see. So hopefully we'll be able to get through it fairly quickly. Uh, we don't have a new animal so it's just going to be everything we've already <laughs> experienced. And we'll see how fast we can get through this and maybe try to do another one if we have time. I don't know. Sometimes these take like uh, 10 minutes, sometimes they take a lot longer. So it looks like our we have elephants and lions. We'll check the other animals soon. So Miss Carolou, were you about to ask me something before these horrid baboons interrupted us? Oh, well, uh, I was actually just going to, or I was going to just ask if you could ever imagine settling down. With all this grandeur before us, it actually makes me long for smaller spaces, sitting in a small room by a fire. Perhaps your London estate is a bit too spacious. Miss Carolou, you must realize I already have settled down. My lab at home is small, dark, and quite homely, I assure you. And if small spaces is what you long for, this balloon quite fits the bill, with a great view, too. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love the, I love the little storyline in the background. It's, it's pretty cute. So, we've got one watering hole here. There's one out here, I think. Yep, one, two, three, four. Are there more? No, I think there's only four others, but wow. Okay, normally... No, we've had... No, I think we've had... I think normally we only have three others, so there's a lot of other ones to fill up now. But it looks like we have vulture, spring hare, baboon... Uh, flamingo and crocodile goals. So we do have lions as well. Uh, to start off with, we need vultures. So we'd probably be best starting off with uh, maybe putting in some zebras. We don't have... Oh, we don't have any large... Okay. So what we need to do is I'll put some baboons in. We can get a population started. And then they should be fine, but we can we can put in a uh, one lion, so these baboons will hopefully sustain that. And once the lion has made its first kill, we can place in. Yep, there we go. We can place in a couple of vultures. So there we are. Let's place some more trees. I think trees are going to be a staple here. We should also see. Okay, there's grass up here. I want to place some spring hares in and get their population started. But uh, we need another vulture, so we should just be able to put that one in. And we can place some more trees because one of our goals is elephants. And so we definitely oh, we need 13 lions. Oh, my goodness. Uh, but we definitely want to have a lot of trees around here to make sure that uh, we're going to have en enough there. But I want to get started right away on filling one of the other watering holes in. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we probably want to expand the spring hares area as well. So let's put some more grass up here. We can put it right there and then they should be able to go over there and eat. And we'll start placing some flamingos in the new area here. So I'll put a few of them there. We can put one more in and that should uh, complete this. Oh, we got a couple of goals fulfilled there. So let's actually place another tree. And once this rainstorm stops, then uh, we can start um, we can start filling this up even more. So the baboons can go right there. We'll fill this up a little bit more. And we'll start to introduce lions over here as well. We'll put at least one in. And that should... Um, that should... Oh no, why did all of our vultures die? We lost a lot of our vultures. We've lost all but... Oh my goodness, do we not have enough... We don't have enough... Uh, we don't have enough carcasses over here apparently. Yeah, I think our lion is getting a little lazy. So we better introduce another because we do have more baboons. So I think we'll be fine. But we're down to one vulture. They're all starving. So we definitely need to start placing some more lions in. And we're going to put one over here as well. So let's see. They should be making fairly frequent kills. Yeah, I think they are. We'll put another... Oh, we've No, we've lost all of our vultures, though. Oh, my goodness. That's terrifying. That sound is terrifying. That's the baboons. But we're going to go ahead. We will place two vultures here. They should get started feeding from the lion's kills. They'll probably make it so the lions have to kill more often, I think. But we'll get started with that. And then over here, we need to place some more vultures. Because we do have some kills there. The lion's just sleeping there in uh, in the water. But I want to put an elephant in as well so we can get started towards that. So we need 15 elephants and 13 lions uh, not a baboon. I want an elephant. I think we have enough enough room for one elephant, especially with a growing lion population. So the vultures are fine. They should be um, they should be having enough to eat. In fact, I think we're going to add one more 
and uh, we kind of probably want to keep them even with the lion population. So let's see over here. We've got one lion and a bunch of baboons, so I'm going to place another one, and then we'll put another vulture here as well, because I don't want that guy to get too hungry. And uh, we should be able to put more vultures here too, now that we have a pair of lions. So we do have several trees, which the baboons are taking advantage of, which is really good, but uh, we probably want to add even a few more there and make sure that we're going to have enough. So we've got, how is our population over here doing? Let, let's see, where is it? I've lost it. Oh, it's right over here. <laughs> Uh, we've got the lions. Oh, the lions are hunting, so that's good. These guys are not too hungry. We can put another one in. They're going to go eat. The lions will probably eat again, so I'm actually going to put two vultures in here. In fact, we can maybe even put a third. And, well, no, I think we have all six. No, we have, we have five here, I believe. So let's put another one, and then we can actually fill this up even more. And then what we'll do is we'll put um, a crocodile over here as well. That'll also help our vulture situation. Did they... What, what died? Oh, that's a baboon. I thought for a second that we lost a lion, and I was like, what? How did that happen? But no, we haven't. So let's go ahead. We'll put that there. Our uh, flamingo population should continue to go up, but uh, I'm going to put another... Uh, I'm going to start filling another watering hole here so that we can start putting more flamingos in it. And we've got a little bit of water, so we can put some of them in here. Oh, I didn't want to put a vulture. That poor vulture is probably just going to die then. So let's put another. We can start placing some trees around here. And we can also fill it up a little bit more. I'll put another tree, and then we can put one more flamingo. I mean, flamingos are the flamingos are a little bit uh, on the less intelligent side, so we might see some of them die anyway. And that vulture... You know, let's let's see if we can maybe bring that vulture over somewhere. I think he's probably gonna end up dying before we get there. Yeah, he's got he's got too far to fly, I think. But we can try. We probably should have started this earlier. But okay, let's let's let him go. Uh, maybe when we're close. Okay, I'm gonna release him here, and then hopefully he'll make it. He's fairly close. If he can fly a little farther, he'll make it to food, but... Oh, no, he died. <laughs> Just on the brink of the lake, too. Oh, that's sad. Oh, I was hoping you would make it, but unfortunately, no such luck. Let's keep placing flamingos, and we can actually start filling up our third watering hole, too, and continue to place flamingos there, and then we'll even start placing them... Or we'll even start filling up the fourth one. So our lion population is actually doing pretty well. Let's go ahead and add another elephant to the mix here, because I don't think the baboons are uh, eating this area too much to its uh, capacity. I don't I don't think they're they're eating it so much that there's going to be a problem there. But let's keep placing some flamingos here. And I think we'll start even um, filling up the last watering hole that we have over here just a little bit. And it looks like now we need another crocodile. So we're going to try and place one in uh, I think our baboons, yeah, their population is doing fairly well here. How many do we have? We have 20. <laughs> we only need three, so let's place in, um, we'll put in a crocodile there to help with that. And then over here, we've got quite a lot. We could probably put a an elephant here, I think. We'll put another vulture over here, and we'll put another tree in over here. And we need more spring hairs. Okay, oh, I shouldn't have you I shouldn't have done that. Okay, we're gonna just place several spring hairs up here because we need to expand this grassy area. So I'm gonna just stick like three of them here. Oh, we only needed two. So we'll put some grass there. And then we've lost one of our crocodiles. I bet the elephant stepped on it. So we'll put uh, another one there, and then we'll put one in this area too. There's actually a, a significant number of carcasses around. So that does go to show that there's probably enough uh, food for this uh, this population to be sustainable. So let's go ahead. We'll put some grass over there, and we'll kind of just start to fill this area up so that our spring hare population can flourish. Let's put another one here. Oh, we've got a lot. Okay, I'm going to place something here. I don't want to. I don't want to lose anything there. So let's make sure we keep filling these watering holes up as well. We need them to continue to grow. And we need to start introducing um, more crocodiles. So let's put a few baboons here, and then we'll put, be able to put a crocodile here in a little bit once these guys are a little more established. So we can act, well, we could probably even put one now because I don't think, yeah, I think they'll be fine if we put one now. Let's place one in. 
and we do want to put a little bit more, a, a few more trees around here, but we can also probably place a vulture because, yep, we have our first kill, so we can get a vulture over here. Well, we're losing some of them again, apparently, but hopefully this area will still be fine for, um, our vulture population. Oh, I think it, no, it didn't go back up. It actually went down again. It should go up to 10. Did one die right away? I think it must have. I don't know why. I hope it's not glitched. But let's place in... I'm going to place in an elephant here. So let's go ahead. We'll put one in. And that'll get us started towards that goal as well. The trouble is they populate slowly. And so we kind of need to be cautious of that. I'm going to actually place another crocodile too. In case something happens to this one. And so that we have enough... Um, Oh, we're going to lose all of our baboons, though, if we're not careful. We might have to place more. But so that we have enough for the vultures to eat. Go eat. Please go eat. They're going to they're gonna go eat. There we go. They they both managed to fill up a little bit. Hold on. What's, what is happening here? Is there not enough? Okay, I don't, I'm going to, I put a spring hair there. That might end up, oh, no, the vultures are going to die. That's, ah, uh, that's so frustrating. I put a spring hair there in hopes that maybe they would be able to eat that, but I don't think that worked. So let's make sure we place a bunch more baboons then, and what we probably actually need is a lion. The lions seem to make kills more frequently, and so now that our baboon population is up a little bit more, we should be able to introduce vultures again. Now, I think we're having problems with vultures at the other watering hole too, so we probably need to go check on that and see what's going on over there. Uh, do we have enough predators here? We've got enough lions. We've got crocodiles. I guess there's just not a lot of food for them overall. Everybody's kind of tired out. So I think what we need to do is actually introduce an elephant here because the elephants will kind of scare some of the animals out of the watering hole. And it'd be good if we can kind of introduce some here. And sometimes they'll sometimes they'll attack the predators. And so that'll kind of keep the predators It'll, it'll ensure we don't always have the same predators, <laughs> that it'll kind of keep their population in rotation, which would be a good thing. We have seven. Have we lost? We lost our vulture over here, I think. Oh, no, we didn't. It's still there. It's still there. We can place another one, and then I think we can st actually start a flock here again. We got it up to eight at least. Yep, crocodiles making a kill. And do we put two? We have two elephants, so this population should start to grow as well. This one's starting to do a little bit better. Uh, we've got a lot of baboons. We've got some lions. So we should be able to introduce more vultures here and get away with that and not lose the population right off the bat. Let's take a look at some of our other watering holes too because we do have... A little bit of ability to start to introduce some animals there. Oh, we definitely need to introduce some here. Let's get our flamingo population up because that's also too low. And we don't really have any, or we don't have too much food that's close there, but we can introduce some baboons here because we have one flamingo and we do have a few trees that are a little bit closer. We'll place some even closer than that though. We're still down to nine vultures though. That's, that's not a good situation. I'm going to make sure we get enough flamingos here to keep the population going too. But let's make sure we introduce some baboons. I'm going to keep going with that. And then once we have enough baboons, probably right about now, I'm going to introduce a lion and we'll start... Oh good, the, the vulture population is on the rise. And now we'll start to introduce some predators so that we have carcasses that can support vultures. So we're getting close. We just got to keep, uh, keep making sure the ecosystem continues to grow. And we now have 12 of 14, so our vulture population is up, which means that if we place two of them here, we should see that rise to our, our necessary number here. And that might trigger a chain reaction because we have a lot of other animal species that are ready to go here. All right, okay, we've got a lot of uh, a lot, lot of other um, a lot of other species here, so we can now probably place our first, or not, yeah, we had a lot of other gems from different species. Oh, but our lion population has hit cap, so that, or our, has hit minimum, I guess, so that's good. Let's go ahead and we will place another elephant as soon as we have enough. I think they should be able to survive here, and then our flamingo population is too low, so we need to work on getting that up. Let's place a couple more here, so we have 11. Um, I guess we can place some baboons here. We'll start placing some baboons. 
but uh, we need to make sure we have enough flamingos as well because those populations are a little bit on the low side. So let's make sure that we're placing enough in the different watering holes. Are they dying off? We've lost a few here and we can place maybe a few over here as well. We've got several flamingos, but not enough. So we've got 26, 27. If we just keep placing them, we'll eventually cap or we'll eventually hit minimum there. 28, they shouldn't die too fast. All right, we've got 29 and we can place one more in. Oh, we got it, all right. So let's place over here. We'll put one more tree in and unfortunately we did get another flamingo cap so we need or another another flamingo population milestone here so we do need to introduce an elephant i think we actually are pretty close though with the goal we might not need to have huge populations we can probably get off with that oh, we have 14 of 15 we just need one more lion and one more elephant so we might actually be able to reach that by hand oh no we, we keep losing them oh that's frustrating the flamingos just keep randomly dying. I don't know if there's like a density variable that's causing us problems or something. Let's place another one. 35 to 36. If we have one more flamingo baby, or if we place one in. Oh no, but we lost one at the same moment apparently. Alright, oh, we got another one. We've got a lot of other ones. So let's populate this with lots of trees so that we can continue to have enough elephants. We'll make sure we put another one in over here. And because we do have some baboons then uh, we should be okay to place another lion here and to get that population started, which will actually complete our goal. Now, I think we may try and do another, um, we'll try and do another, we'll try to do the next one, oh, we unlocked hyenas, so either what we're either gonna do is it'll either end here or we'll continue on to the next one. I don't know how long the next one will take, but uh, we'll see, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue and we will go ahead and check out the hyena, and here we go. All right, there we go. Hyenas. I remember, I have vague memories of the hyena from playing this game, actually. So, uh, yeah, I don't I don't really know. I, I remember them a little bit, but I guess I got a lot farther in this game than I remembered. Oh, it looks like we have zebra now, so we don't have lions. Okay, I can't stand small dogs. They yelp so very much. Dr. Willoughby, these dogs aren't small. They just look that way because we're so high up. They're hyenas, and they would tear us in half at the slightest provocation. Of course I know they're hyenas. I also know them to be devoted parents. Mother and father will bring food back to their helpless children. These hyenas seem to get their water from the blood of their prey as well. Oh, so they may not have a water requirement. And I also know that they yelp like my neighbor's little spotted cur. Oh, no. It is true. Little dogs are yappy. Little dogs can be a little bit obnoxious. Sometimes more than a little bit obnoxious. But if I'm understanding this properly, then the hyenas in this don't actually have a water requirement, which means that we can pretty much just fill this area up with grass and barely even worry about the other animals and we should be able to place them in. So, oh, he's going to hunt him down. He's already going for it. But if you see, yeah, their water requirement isn't going down at all. So we probably want to focus on uh, setting up that. Uh, now, let's place in a couple vultures. Vultures are also great because they're going to... Um, they're going to be getting their... Um, we do have to kind of balance this a little bit, but they they don't they don't have a huge water requirement. So let's have some of them go flying off this way. We'll kind of leave them out here because we've got hyenas making several kills, and so we kind of want them to follow the hyenas. I think. Let's have you. I know you're feeling a little lazy, but you can go ahead and kill a spring hare. And uh, that should help provide food for our vultures so that uh, they don't run out. Now, we've got quite a few. Oops, I'm still on the hyena. That's why it wasn't letting me move. But let's go ahead. We'll place you down here. We'll place a crocodile in the water now that we're starting to get more... Um, now that we're starting to get more uh, zebras. And then we also want to place wildebeest because since the wildebeest can wander so far away, they're also going to be a good food for our hyenas. We want to focus on adding them in, I think. Now let's put a few baboons here. We have some trees, I believe, at the default watering hole. Yes. So let's place some of them here. And, okay, what we need to do, I'm going to start placing some grass. I'm going to kind of bring this around here. Now, let's put in a couple of wildebeest, and then we'll have, where are you going? I don't know where you're going. The Oh, the hyenas, are they coming for water? No. Why are they all coming down here? I don't know what's happening, but they're heading up there to eat, so that's good to see. That's what we want. 
and uh, I'm going to keep placing a few of them in because we want to start to get that population up. Now let's place a couple more vultures because we want to make sure the vulture population also stays on the rise and that will enable us to place a little bit more grass and to maybe start to connect these areas. So I'm going to put some grass down here and that'll start to lead its way over to this watering hole where we can start to place another uh, set of baboons here. There we go, we got that goal in. So somewhere out here we can place some uh, grass in and then we do need to put an elephant. The elephants are probably gonna be the trickiest part of this, I think. We do have two trees so we can sustain one elephant. Probably not two, but if we put another uh, tree in then we might be able to. We just need to be kind of po uh, kind of cautious that we don't lose our whole zebra population here. But let's put another elephant. And then that got that down. And then is there room for a zebra over here? There is technically not. But if we place one, then we'll be able to immediately put a bush there. We can even put two bushes there. And then we can start to fill this up. We'll place another zebra and uh, they should have enough food. So we're gonna kind of focus on connecting these again because we need our wildebeest to be able to wander over here. The hyena can follow them, but I'm actually gonna lead this uh, wildebeest out here so that it tracks all the way over to this other watering hole. We wanna make sure that our zebras know, or that our, our wildebeest know where this other watering hole is. And uh, so we're going to make sure that we lead him all the way over here so that he can actually see it. And then maybe we can place some more wildebeest over here. I don't know if he's going to start his own herd or not, but now he'll have knowledge of this whole area. And what I think, I'm going to put a couple of them in, and then I'm going to put a croc in the water. So I don't know. I think we'll be able to sustain that. We can put some more grass here. That'll kind of um, get our, our wildebeest. Okay, that'll, that'll kind of get them on the right track here. And then we should be good. I think I'm gonna put another uh, crocodile in the main water area. So let's have you keep running here. It takes him a long time to get anywhere, but if we lead him all the way over here, then he should know where to find the food in the future. But we'll put another croc in the main watering hole and then we'll start actually filling up another here because we want to make sure we do that. We need to get all these different holes established, especially since we can have wildebeest kind of wander around the circuit. You can see how they kind of make like a circle area. We want to take full advantage of that. Okay, whoa. Let's First of all, we'll start by filling this one up because this is another one, so that's too close. But if we go right out here, we can actually put some grass in and have a big grassy area. We can even put some shrubs in. And we'll lead our wildebeest in this area as well, or in this direction. So you can run all the way over here. Again, we're gonna lead this wildebeest out to the watering hole. And now we need to place another vulture or two, it looks like. So we need six of, or we have six of eight. Let's go ahead, we'll place a couple here because some of our zebras have died. We do need to place uh, another bush in there and then we also need to probably get a zebra. I don't like how far away the food is from the water, but we'll, we'll try this. <laughs> we'll try this, we'll put, we'll put another one right here and we'll put another one right here and we'll put a zebra here and we'll put another zebra because apparently we just lost one. But we'll try and establish- oh no, I put a wildebeest instead of a zebra, that's what's happening, okay. So, we'll place another here, oh my goodness, and let's make sure that we keep this grassy area growing because we also need to grow our spring hare population. And the other thing I'm going to do, so we've got our wildebeest traversing this, uh, this area, and so we're going to put a bush there for them to snack on along the way. Now, because we've got a growing zebra population here, I'm going to, oh, that was right. <laughs> I saw the crocodile. We're gonna put a crocodile here and continue to fill up this watering hole. And we actually need to place another one. So I guess we'll try, oh, we need to place two more. We'll try and put another one here and we'll try and put another one in the main watering hole, I think. So, oh, they're, they're going for it. Did they get a baboon? They killed something. Oh, one of the crocs got a zebra, that worked. So we probably want to start putting vultures over there too because we're going to need another vulture goal soon. I think we only have six of them. But let's go ahead. Oh, the hyenas are lingering around here by the looks of it. And we'll actually try... So this needs one... This needs to be full one more time. But I'm going to first of all put another bush along this path, I think. So let's place in a few more zebras. 
We need two more, and uh, I'll try and grow this population quite a lot if we can. So let's actually fill this up. We need another elephant, so we could put one here. We have enough trees to sustain an elephant, so let's put one in. The baboon population is out of control, so we could probably put a hyena over here, uh, maybe a set of hyenas, because I imagine they'll hunt the baboons. But I think what we also need is another bush right here at the watering hole. So let's put at least one hyena, and since they don't need water, it's kind of irrelevant if they're near the watering hole, but they'll be able to uh, to hunt if if possible. Oh, did they? Oh, they found a dead one, I think. Yeah, they found something to eat from, so that's good. Let's place a few spring hairs along this path too. I want to focus on collect or connecting some of this grass together, I think. And we'll go up here. We need another crocodile, I think, so we'll put one in this water. Now, we're getting pretty close, I think. We actually are close to, we're getting kind of close to our spring hair goal. So, let's come back over here. We're going to continue to connect this area with a big bunch of grass. And we want to make sure that we have enough grass to kind of just link this whole area together pretty much. And that'll also provide a lot of area for our spring hair population. So, the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to set up some uh, hyenas out here. They can prey on the spring hares, but uh, wait, let's see, did they find a dead one? I don't know what they found. They might have found an already dead one over here somewhere. Or are they going out? Oh, they're going to get this uh, zebra carcass, so are they gonna make it though? They've got kind of low hunger, but I think, oh no, I think they might not make it, so I don't know, they might, they might be okay. But we're gonna try and start a hyena pack out here because I think that'll help. But we also need more zebras, so let's go over here. We've got quite a few that have died, so let's just place like three of them all at once. And we've got a good sized grass area along here, but I also want to start filling up another watering hole. We can kind of continue the chain here. Let's place a zebra as soon as we've got a little bit of water. We don't want him to die of thirst right away. But as soon as we've got a little bit of water here, which should be any moment, right? Probably, I assume so. I think we would, right? It's gotta be here any minute. <laughs> I'm just waiting for this water. There's the water. Okay, so we've got enough water to put some zebras here. We'll go ahead and make sure we have another bush along the side, but we also wanna kinda connect this area, so I'll start putting some grass and in that grass some spring hares and again we can place some baboons because we want to get that population up our spring hare population is also full so let's go ahead and we will put in a few more baboons here we can continue to just kind of manually raise that and then i definitely want to fill this up some more but basically we can kind of just link this all together in uh, in a big circle now i don't think there's any watering holes over here or anything so this part of the map doesn't have too much in it it's mostly just this big circle over here, which I guess makes sense when you're looking at the camera angle. Oh, I should have probably put that guy closer to the water. There we go. We can place another zebra. We even need one more zebra, so I'll put another one in, and we can start filling up this watering hole now. And we can put more zebras here, and we do need more wildebeest. So I think I'm going to put... I'm going to put some of them over here. We'll kind of try and start a new group because they do wander back and forth quite a bit. Uh, our, hy our hyena population, I think, is starting to grow, so that's very, very good. Let's place some more grass along the way. So we've got a grass patch there, and then I think it's this. Yeah, this is the route to the... Um, to the next area, so we'll go or to the next watering hole. So we'll start and place some wildebeest over here as well. They have a very low water requirement, so they can travel quite far without needing much water. Now I'm gonna actually leave this guy out here before his food gets too low so that he can find this grass and this bush over here and we'll know where all of that is when he needs to go eat. So let's send him over here. He should keep heading in that direction. And if we place more wildebeest over here, then I think they'll figure things out. There's also um, there's also grass right over there. So now we need another wild or we need another not another wildebeest, another zebra. Let's go ahead. We can put a population here at this watering hole. In fact, I'm going to start filling this one up. It doesn't really need another. Um, it doesn't really need another bush just yet. It'll need one now though because we're going to be putting a third zebra in, and that should get us another uh, gem here. But let's go ahead, so we need, we've got 16, do we have, we've got hyenas, 
not we don't have any hyenas in this area so let's see we've got some right there I'm gonna put some more grass there to kind of incentivize the wildebeest to come out this way and do we have spring hares? We do have a lot of spring hares. So this is where we're going to start putting the hyenas. I believe the are the hyenas. Yeah, there are only two. Uh, there are only two flowers. So we've got quite a lot. You can you can kill these guys, right? Uh, right? Will you? Do you kill them? Yeah, I guess they do kill them. <laughs> I was not sure if they would or not, or if they. I don't think they actively hunt them. Oh, I guess they do. We can make them hunt them. But we can get another population settled out here because we're going to have wildebeest that are going to be coming through here. Now, let's place a few. We've got a lot of zebras. Oh, my goodness. We should place a few more wildebeest in where we can. But I think I'm also going to maybe put some baboons at some of these other watering holes because we need to make sure that we have enough population there. So I want to place several here. I want to put, like, three or four. We need one or two more. There we go. And we can actually start placing more trees at the other watering holes so that we can get that population up again. There we go. Does this need to be filled again? It does. And the other thing that I wanted to do was to put another bush here. So we'll start putting some more wildebeest here. We're actually pretty close to finishing off. We just need five more hyenas, which may sound like a lot, but that's actually a really doable goal. And in fact, their population is still on the increase. So that's good. We just got to place some more wildebeest and then I think we'll be all right. But uh, as long as we have wildebeest traveling around, then the hyena will have some very good prey and uh, they should be able to eat quite well, I think. So we've got a lot of zebras here. Do we have a lot of zebras here? We've got a lot of hyenas here. The hyenas are eating everybody over here. Oh my goodness. But we do have enough um we do have enough food to sustain zebras. You guys should not be coming over here to eat though. I don't think. So, oh, they're all they're all grazing this place to the, to the ground pretty much. But we need another elephant somewhere. We don't have one over here, so I'm actually going to place one as soon as we have enough for it. Now we've got 21 hyena, so that's good. Let's go ahead and I'm going to put some grass kind of in the middle here. We can put some, or we, we can actually lead, I'm going to lead our wildebeest out this way so that they see this path to the other watering hole. And we can kind of just have a bunch of herds wandering around and roaming this area, although I think our hyenas are actually about to max out their goal here, or to, to hit the end goal. We just need one more, and so we can actually, if we place a hyena here, and if we place another one, then yes, we've actually completed our goal. So two, two, uh, two missions in one uh, episode is not too bad, but we'll go ahead and try out the, uh, the next chapter next time. So the hyenas, I, re I really like them. They're a fairly easy predator, and they're also very good for the vultures because they can travel far, they don't need water, and uh, the vultures also don't need that much water so they can kind of just follow them around. But we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here for today because it is about that time again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.